Hey Glamours, and today we are doing a for April favourites. So the first favourite I have is the U-Tan CBD Tanning Water. This is 50% darker. You can see how much I've used of it. I've used quite a lot of this. I absolutely love this product just because it calms down the redness in your skin and it makes your skin just feel really nice and refreshed and very glowy as well. You can put this on and actually over top of makeup, which I'm like, well, hey. But I do love this. I first bright at night, I get a good night's sleep because it's infused with CBD and Scottish lavender oil. Lavender is very calming and it actually helps you go to sleep. So if you end up buying a pillow mist or anything like that or anything for sleep, it always has lavender on it and this is it. And if you do spray it constantly, you will get your face to match your body. So then you won't have to wear as much foundation and you can go, you know, foundation free for a day. But yeah, I absolutely love this. So if you haven't tried it, try it out i absolutely do love this if you want it to go on your hands i don't suggest that i suggest getting the original jamie genevieve u tan tanning water cbd tanning water and get the original and just spray that on your hands because that will be a lovely finish i actually do use this if my tan's going patchy at all or i do need to top up I actually will spray it on my arms and on my chest and it will just give you a nice tan because it does tan your body as well next it is a palette and this is the v palette oh my good grief i bought this in in of april i know it's kind of you're know, kind of like shining why are you just buying it you just bought it in the beginning of april why are you doing the favorites on it because that's how much i love it my eyes today are from the this palette i absolutely love this palette i love it uh, i absolutely love this palette so the reason i like this palette is because of how sleek and compact it is i love the case i'm keeping the case because you can take this traveling and just pop it in there which it just looks incredible what i do like about this is it has a magnetic closure which i absolutely love plus the best part the two best parts is the pan size and the fact that you can fold it in half and put your makeup like this and then turn around and use the mirror side. That is what I love. I love how big the pan size are. I think the pan sizes are incredible. They're such a big pan sizes, as you can see. The mirror is quite a big size as well. I absolutely love that as well. But you can take this on holiday with you or traveling and you won't need to bring the extra mirror because you've got this palette side to do with the extra mirror as well. So I love how big the pan sizes are and it's just an incredible palette. It just feels really luxurious. Next favorite of mine are the Vive Lip Liner and Lipstick. I love this shade Treasure. It is a gorgeous shade. It's such a beautiful shade. I love it for that. Plus the lip liner is in bark and I love how dark the lip liner is. It's just beautiful. It is, you have to do have it with a pencil sharpener but other than that it's really good but the packaging is so good and it's grippy so you, you don't slide out of your hands plus what i do like is the magnetic closure on the lipstick but the color is beautiful is the blush the blush i love this as well now at the minute these are the v products i've got because i never used it before the blush i have on my cheeks today which is gorgeous sorry this highlight is um this highlight is from a different palette i've got to about this blush it's called Piazza, it's from Vive, it's so beautiful. It has a magnetic closure, it has the exact same style as the eyeshadow, but I just love the magnetic closure and I love how this is. This is buildable, so basically you can put it on and it builds up. Blush is incredible. I use it with the XO Beauty Bronzer Brush. This is a real goat hair brush. Next palette I'm gonna talk about is the Sophie Highlighter Palette by Revolution. I still have this, it still works. This highlighter that I've got on my cheek so far, is this palette right here, which is gorgeous. All the colors are gorgeous. The palette is just gorgeous, I love it. Mine's a bit broken, but it still closes. If you have the clasps working, it would actually close properly, but because mine's broken, mine kind of doesn't close because mine's broken, but that's how much I love it. Even if it's broken, I still use this, and it's just a good palette to use. The highlighting palette is just good, and it's cheap as well for a highlighter palette. The next uh, favorite I've got is the Pixie Glow Mid. It's very good. You can use it without makeup or with makeup, but I'm just gonna spray it to show you. So, but, so basically you do have to shake this because it has oil in it but it makes your skin really dewy and it makes it like really nice and dewy so if you want that kind of spring if you want the summer glow and that dewiness pick up the pixie glow mist and shake it thoroughly and then spray it and you get this glowiness and this dewiness from your skin that is so beautiful in the summer i just love that fact in the summer because it is really beautiful in the summer i just, I just love it because in the summer it's just so beautiful to have a dewiness and i don't like being matte in the summer because even though matte is really good in the summer i prefer dewiness because you get that glowiness and everything 
that's what I do like about this. The next product is something that I tend to use on and off. I do love it, but it is but it is this palette from the Revolution X Rich Leary. And the palette and the palette I'm gonna talk about is the Goddess on the Go, the Shimmery Bronzer. Oh my god, I love the shimmery bronzer. I do have it on today, and it gives you that glow that you want in a shimmery bronzer. If you don't use too much, it just comes off, off with the glow. If you use too much, it'll be pigmented. It's just something like that. But I just put it on just for a bit of a glow and I love it. It's just nice and glowy, and I absolutely love that about this bronzer. So if you want to try the shimmery bronzer, try this one out. It is in this palette, so you do get a bunch of eyeshadows. You get a highlight, a bronzer, shimmery bronzer, and a blush. Try this out, it is cheap as well, but it's really good. And it does have a mirror inside as well. My next favourites is basically exercise. I have been exercising a lot in April. I've done it for almost two weeks, exercise in April, and I absolutely love it. So I you do the Charlotte Crosby three minute belly blitz, and I thought I'd get bored with that, and I don't. I just do it, I do all the rounds. There's 12 rounds, but if you go for the warm up and the cool down, that's 14 rounds. And if you do the extra abs, that's 15 rounds. So all together, including the warm up cool down, and next rounds is 15 rounds and I do all the rounds and the DVD I do it lasts for about an hour and 15 minutes or something like that and I do that daily I do that Monday to Friday so I know that I have to do it and it's I always do it in the morning and it's really wake up call for me so when I do it I am sweaty but I'm like oh my god I feel really energized and I can do anything now and it's just a really good thing to do in the morning you don't have to do it for exercise, you can do anything. You can do yoga, pilates, uh, dancing is exercise. If you wanna feel like you wanna wake up in the morning, you feel like you're really awake, if you know what I mean, then try it that because, try exercise because it just really does wake you up and it gives you that boost in the morning. It doesn't have to be an hour, it can be a 10 minutes workout and you'll still feel really good. Eyeliner, it is this roller eyeliner from Benefit and it's in the shade brown. I do it to draw, put some of my freckles on my face, which I love doing now. I've always not put my mo my my mole or my freckle on my face because I feel like when I do that with other products it doesn't look as well look good but with this it does it has a fine point so I can just go do 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 so I can just go do 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 and I'm done but this is a really good eyeliner as well I've got it in today and it's just so good it doesn't drag it just just rolls on across and it's felt tip, but it's the best felt tip I've ever used, and I'd absolutely love it. Next, it is the brow products that I've been using for my brow. So the first one is the 24-hour brow setter. I do love this. This does stand your hair out, hairs up, but you kind of have to work with it. If you want your hair to stand up, you have to go over it like uh, two or three times just to get your hair standing up, and then this will not budge throughout the day. It will stay still. Next it is this pencil, uh, precisely my brow pencil. I haven't used this one, but I love this one. I love how small the tip is. As you saw, the tip is so tiny. It's just really good, and the brush comes with it, just a normal brush. And I can do fine hairs with this, and I just flick up, and fine hairs are in place, and I love it for that. I love using this one because it just creates the hair trick flicks that I do want. Next it is Gimme gimme brow i got this these two in the medium mini size because i couldn't get in the big size because i had ran out basically when i wanted to buy it so this is gimme brow i do love this because this has little fibers in it so basically what you can do is pop in your gimme brow and basically the gel in here the little fibers will actually stick onto the hairs and make them more volumizing and thicker and f and a bit fluffy fluffier as well I don't really like the fluffy look. I I probably put the fluffy look in the front and then I don't with in the back. And it's what I love doing with my brows now. But this is really good. So if you want some, if you don't want to do pencil, you don't want to do gel, just use this because it ha does have brow fibers in it and it does come in a variety of different shades. So if you don't want a pencil or gel, try this out and it just gives color to your brows. So that is all my favorites that I have for you today. I know it's not a lot of favorites, but it's the favorites that I've been loving this month. If you have any favorites that you've been loving, then please leave a comment down below. But if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.